floor for linebacker Tough Portland. Uh, fourth row right, uh, Joe from uh, ESP. Tough, you guys have done a great job stopping the run this year. I was wondering for you as an interior backer, how important have those big guys up front been you guys up? Yeah, I mean, you know, anytime you play behind a great defensive line like that, uh, you know, it makes your job easier. You know, they're always in the backfield. Uh, Tommy was just saying, just being disruptive, you know, knocking the line back, and um, they're awesome. Uh, second row right, Tony from the Ozone. So the, uh, Greg Madison was here talking about Wisconsin's ability to build play action. What does it do for you guys when you've got three quarterbacks back there to uh, help stop that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think our corners can line up, corners and DBs can line up with anybody in the country, so that definitely makes um, everybody's job easier. Um, obviously, um, stop the run is number one, um, but that definitely makes our job a little easier as linebackers. Um, when you got corners like that in the background covering. Front row left, uh, Nathan from Cleveland.com. Coach Dave was saying that this becomes a week for the offense, just considering how highly ranked Wisconsin's defense is to kind of come out and prove themselves a little bit. Does the defense or maybe even just the linebacker group, do you guys see it the same way that you're facing this rushing attack and this is the week where you can prove something or have something to prove? Yeah, no doubt. I think every week, um, especially this week, is a week to come out and um, prove what you can do. Um, you know, obviously, they're very talented, have great players um, offensively and defensively. Um, so anytime you get a chance to come out and compete against a team like this, um, I'm come out and show up. Does mean use a receiver more than he has been in the past? Is that something you see on film? And, and what kind of extra challenges that give you guys? No, definitely. Um, you know, I think when we saw him two years ago in the Big Ten Championship, it was uh, you know kind of a first and second down guy. Um, but now you know he's better at his game in all aspects. Third down, you know, blocking, catching the ball out of the backfield. So he's a great player. Front row left, Mitch from the Associated Press. Tough. Um, did, did you watch um, Illinois, Wisconsin? I did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they obviously. First of all, I guess. Did you see any cracks in their armor? I don't know. Uh, Illinois played really hard. Uh, played well. Uh, I, I can't. I can't speak for. Uh, Wisconsin, but um, you know we're going to get a, a team that's that's angry this week, and come, they're going to come out and uh, prove themselves. So uh, we got to be up for the challenge. Uh, did, does it change the way you prepare or see Wisconsin? No, I mean they're, they're the same team. Uh, you know whether undefeated or not, one loss. Um, you know they're solid. All across the board, great players. Um, so we're going to come out and play well. Front row middle, Dave from 24/7. Tough. Last year, you guys gave up um, a lot of big plays. There's a lot of missed tackles, and you guys had a lot of penalties. This year, you guys are not committing a lot of penalties. You're not giving up big plays. You're not missing many tackles. What's been the biggest differences that you've noticed? Well, I think um, schematically, there's some differences. Uh, I try to keep everything in front of us, um, but I think it's just um, the way that we're running the ball. Anytime you run to the ball. Um, we might miss a tackle, but you know there's three, four guys right there to, to tackle. So um, I think that's the, bit, the biggest difference with uh, with the big plays. Uh, sixth row right, Spencer from Letterman Row. So if Wisconsin runs a package, you know, near the goal line with a quick, like it seems like nine offensive line. But the Rhino package? Yeah. yeah. As a defense, I mean, how do you stop that? And is there more of a uh, to not let them get into that package? I don't know. I mean, if they get into it, they get into it. Um, we're going to line up with uh, big against big. And they're just going to try to keep them out of the end zone. So this one is more predicated on pride. I mean, you kind of just have to man up and go big on them, like you said. I mean, how, much, how much pride do you think those kind of boys? Yeah, no doubt. Um, I think any time a uh, team gets in those situations, you want to show them that you know, you're not going to break. Um, you know, they might get a play on us or two. But again, next play, line up. Uh, they're not in the end zone yet, um, so we're gonna, we'll try to keep them out. Front row right, Austin, Letterman row. So for you, when Coach Madison was in here, he seemed not pleased with the rush defense on Friday night. 
on, on paper, it looks like it was fine. You gave, cause you gave up three points. Were, did you leave that thinking there was a lot of room to improve? Yeah, uh, no doubt. Um, I think that what they had, 199, 200 yards, something like that. And I think 150 of them were good run. So um, there's definitely some things we need to clean up. So, I mean, they had to earn it, right? And it was 3.3 yards per carry. You think normally you'd take that. Is that, is that too high to your mind? You need to do less? Than that? Uh, I mean, the, our thing is, you know, there's always something to improve on, uh, get better, keep enhancing. Front row right. Tim, let yeah. him in row. Uh, how intensive a game? I know every game's intense for, for linebackers, but when you've got an elite back you're going against, that they like to use play action off of, just how much more intense is a game like this from a quick decision making uh, thing for the linebackers, especially? Yeah, I mean, I think reading your keys are crucial. Um, you know, obviously they're going to come out and try and establish the run, but, um, you know, seeing a you know, high offensive lineman. Uh, when they hop up out of their stands to show pass. Um, seeing that is going to be crucial. And one of the things, uh, Coach Dave went, went almost for a minute on how good Jonathan Taylor is, where he stands out. <clears throat> As you watch him on video, where, where does he kind of, not necessarily rank, but what stands out about him <coughs> as a running back? I think his um, patience. Um, you know, he, a lot of times you see guys thinking the balls are clear and they jump out of their gaps um, and he ends up finding that crease. So um, I think being real disciplined, uh, gap oriented defense, uh, playing through your gap. Um. Right next door, Bill from the dispatch. Yeah. As kind of a old school linebacker, I would imagine this is the kind of game that you get really puffed up for. Could you describe your emotions, your feeling about, about playing Wisconsin, you know what you're going to get with them. Straight ahead, no fair dodging. Um, they're going to come at you. We're going to have to come out after them. Um, like I said, be you know, gap oriented. Um, that's what we do. <coughs> Get our keys and just play really fast. Uh, right next door, Joey from the dispatch. Tuff mentioned uh, John Taylor is a patient runner. Greg Matson also mentioned he's really quick too and fast. Um, does that stand out on film as well? Yeah, no doubt. Um, once he makes his decision, uh, once he makes his cut, it's his acceleration is looks good. It's what makes him a, a great player. Does he look like he had 10-4 speed? So he ran ahead with him. Yeah, I mean, he's he's good. He's he's fast. And final questions over here to the right. Clay from WSYX. <coughs> when one of their offensive linemen gets his hands on you, do you ever feel small? I mean, they seem like they've always been 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six across the board. Yeah, I mean, Every team has, has big offensive linemen, you know, especially Wisconsin. Um, it just means we're going to have, as linebackers and defensive line, we're just going to have to be um, really good with our with our technique, um, engaging the block and getting off of it, um, just playing from there. Great. Tough thing.